Hello Church, I hope everyone's doing well. I'd like to share a few thoughts with you before communion today. We all just listened and possibly sang uh, with the song, O Victory in Jesus. And sometimes, you know, we forget that we really do have a victory in Christ. Sometimes we forget that Christ has given us victory over death, that we can live with him forever in heaven. I'd like to read the chorus of O Victory in Jesus. O oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. You know, John also talks about victory. I'd like to read 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 through 6, and then I'll read verses 11 through 13. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. And who is the one who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and with the blood. Verse 11. And the witness is this, that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have the life. These things I've written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God in order that you may know that you have eternal life. One of the neat things about this passage is John tells us he's telling us these things so we may know that we have eternal life. Folks, we already have eternal life. It's not something to, to think about in the future that we might get as Christians who serve the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in him with all of our heart. He's given us eternal life. Would you bow with me, please? Father, we want to thank you for eternal life. We want to thank you, Father, for Christ who willingly died for us. And Father, we pray that you would always guide us and help us to serve you. You may take the bread now. Would you pray with me, please? for the fruit of the vine. Father, we take this cup of grape juice as a symbol, Father, for the blood that Jesus shed for us. Blood, Father, that cleanses our sins and was a sacrifice, Father, to forgive us of our sins. We praise you in all that we do, in Christ's name, amen. You know, separate from the communion, we usually take funds uh, that the church gives, and of course we can't do that now. Uh, I really wanna tell everyone I'm really impressed and uh, really thankful for all of the giving that the church has been doing through this time. It's pretty easy just to kind of forget about that, but you have not done that. So um, if you'd like to give, uh, that would be great. The address I have written here again thank you and God bless